a show where elephants picked up all kinds of things with their trunks, from a little hat to a big heavy log. Elephants are intelligent and inquisitive animals. They're also strong and agile. Even on a narrow pathway, if there's something in their way, they figure out how to walk around it or step over it. To keep them strong and stimulate their minds, the elephant keepers come up with new challenges and physical activity. Our next stop is near Australasia, where the animals from Australia and Papua New Guinea live. This is your stop to see the kangaroos and their cousins, the wallabies. Every now and then, one of the females has a joey, or baby kangaroo, in her pouch. On hot days, curved claws for climbing trees. There's one named Makaya. He's the miracle kangaroo, isn't he? Yes, Makaya's name means magic in one of the languages of Papua New Guinea, where tree kangaroos live. It's really magical that he survived. Tram stop two, the primate kingdom and Australasia. Right. Makaya and Nupella, two of the tree kangaroos in the Australasia exhibit, are here for a special reason. The zoo put them together so they'll have babies. There aren't as many tree kangaroos in the wild as there used to be. People are still destroying their habitat. So zoos around the world, including Singapore, are working together to encourage tree kangaroos to reproduce. That's why they put Makaya and Nupella together. I call them the love couple of Australasia. Do you think the Look for an exhibit with graceful dances performing an underwater ballet. <laughs> I'm kidding, be hippo. Sorry for the breeding program. <laughs> Also hidden just down the path here is one of my favorite animals. Which one would that be? You have so many. The white tigers. You've absolutely got... Look for an exhibit of graceful dances performing an underwater ballet. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is where the baby hippos live. Are they tiptoes through the water? They look a little like ballerinas in Toshu. <laughs> Wild pygmy hippos in West Africa are in danger, but under human care, they breed well. More than 10 have been born here in Singapore, a big success story for the breeding program. Also hidden just down the path here is one of my favorite animals. Which one would that be? You have so many. The white tiger. No box in the Malay language. You'll see two subspecies, the golden brown Sumatran orangutan and the darker Borneo orangutan. They live in a spacious, free-range environment with trees and climbing platforms for them to move around like they would in the wild. In Borneo and Sumatra, habitat may be threatened. But this amazing creature, the man of the forest, will survive thanks to breeding programs at Singapore Zoo and worldwide. One of my favorite animals. Wild Africa. Wild Africa, this stop. passing the white rhinos on the right. Okay. Across from them is the exhibit for the African painted dogs. You might not see them on the tramp, but do you feel like you are wearing them? That's why we get off at the stop and walk around. You can see the animals up close. Next on the right, you'll see zebras. 
And on the left, cheetahs. These are all animals of the savannah. Oh, oh, the savannah. A grassy plain with only a few trees. I like to see cheetahs on the savannah. They're the fastest land mammals. Cheetahs can run at speeds equivalent to 115 kilometers an hour. Wow. Did you know the white rhinos almost went extinct because of hunting? Really? Yes, but they're making a comeback. Thanks to conservation work and breeding programs in zoos around the world, many baby rhinos have been bred here at the Singapore Zoo. When people come to the zoo, they usually expect to see great big animals like elephants, giraffes, or bears. But the world has some amazing small animals too, particularly the ones who live. Kids grow and swim for parents too, so you have to take the lead. Okay, you